I'm going back into the main part again so I can loop around to do the thing that causes the next phase to happen again. And I'm hoping something has changed. If I end up back in the water place, then I'll probably instead go back to the cathedral. And hope that there's something to do there or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think the books... I don't think the book gave me any clues. I'm pretty sure I read it and all it did was just say that he somehow convinced people he could time travel. Which made his ages a popular like little tourist trap. People wanted time travel. Surprise. But I don't think it said anything mechanically about how it worked. Ooh. There's those three. Oh, I'm curious about those dots over the top. Ah, uh, we're back here. And I guess I don't need to check back there because I already know what happens when I get back there. Huh. I guess I don't need to check back at the cathedral because it was it was necessary as part of the process of getting here. So I was misordering what was going to happen. Huh. There's thankfully no current, so at least I can freely move around. Except for the part where I have to do the entire loop every time I want to change chapters. Try you again? Okay. The one thing I saw... Yeah, that. That always seemed weird to me. I was like, what is that bizarre shape? That's totally the fake billboards in the in the distance cracking. It's the damage showing. Because from this distance you can't see the billboards. But you can see that little piece of evidence. Uh, is the cracking one the one with the tunnel behind it? It might be. Oh yeah, I think I can see the tunnel behind it from here. I was thinking like they probably put the crack there as a clue. So I'm swimming all the way out again. I'm hoping... I don't know. Maybe since I've switched that thing again, maybe I'm now in the correct state or something? I flipped that one enough times that I don't know how many times I flipped it, so I might have turned it like on and off a few times or something. I'm hoping it leads to me getting a proper response when I pull the lever in this age. Because I can't... I just can't remember. Yeah, this is totally the Truman Show. That's probably a solid dome, isn't it? Yeah, you can't, actually can't go up to it. But that's a wall right there. So I can't remember when I pulled the lever before whether or not it like rumbled or anything. I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna go pull it again and see if something happens. Okay, it's rumbling. I don't remember if it did last time or not, but it is this time. It's probably a good sign. I'm gonna go press the shell. Because, <coughs> uh, I think I had that one pressed before, and I think that if I get to the shadow version of the age... Oh, maybe I need to swim back in this state so it takes. Either way, I need to go back in order to continue to the next stage.
I don't know. I'm thinking that maybe when I was in the tower, maybe I turned it on, then I turned it back off or something. So maybe I didn't get the proper response when I pulled the lever over here. When I was at the church place, the cathedral looking location, I noticed that there was uh, three lights. <coughs> well, there's three semicircles above the door. And they look like they light up. They look like they're made of the type of material that would light up. Uh, well, like that, that would be a light bulb, basically. Like glass. Uh, so if it turns out that, if I've done it right this time, then maybe one of them will be lit up. And that'll be at least some kind of sign that I'm on the right path. And if that happens, then I'll continue to the next chapter and try doing it there, too. And maybe it'll rumble that this time. Because, yeah, like, they, they weren't reacting. I was pulling the lever, and then nothing was happening. It was just, oh, uh, there's no way up on the side? Crap. But yeah, I was just pulling the lever, and nothing, it was just quietly getting pulled, and then going back without a rumble. So I must have messed up. I'm trying to think. Because it goes one, two, three, four, five. It rotates. Because it's a base four numbering system. I think five is the horizontal one, right? So one is vertical. So the one I just saw, that was one. So let's just make sure that I get to two before I pull the next lever. So I'll double check that wherever I arrive at next is in fact two. And if it's not two, then I'll skip it and go to the next one and pull the next one and then maybe come loop back around. Although if I have to go out of order, then that's a lot of running around this circle. <laughs> Real time consuming DLC. Come on, please be lit up or something. I just need some kind of confirmation that I'm making progress. Uh, nothing. It's fine, we'll just commit. Let's keep going. I'll keep going, I'll get there again. I'll get to the one that says two on it. I'll pull the lever. And if it rumbles, then it may be it's still working out. And if it doesn't rumble, then maybe something's wrong. See, it's out in that direction. I shouldn't be able to get there on foot, should I? Unless that's what I did wrong. Was I supposed to get there on foot? Here's the path to that island. It doesn't seem to branch off. Like, yeah, I basically want to go over there. Is that piece of debris real? No, it's probably also 2D like the rest. I was thinking maybe I need to walk along an actual path to get there. Like maybe warping out somehow causes a problem, but I don't see where I'd go. Please be a two, please be a two, I need a two. Hope that's what I need. I really hope that's the correct order of things. I don't think I've ever had an indication anywhere of what order to do these in, right? Okay, it's open. That's a, yeah, that's a two. That's a two. I saw an image that helped me visualize the numbers in Denis. That's really helpful for remembering them. Which is that, uh, this curve is the top of a two. 
Like the two would go zoop, boop. Like that's the two. That's, I think that's how it went. Whereas the three is like this. And so like the middle part of it that is like the, that's this shape is like the, if you had a three going out like that, then you'd have like a jujup would be that branching in the middle of the three. And a four is like this. Like that right angle in the four is 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 what represents the four. And then a one is just a vertical line. I think I'm remembering that correctly, but I'm not a thousand percent sure. The issue I have is that that curve is of course in both a two and a three. And so that obviously creates problems if I'm trying to remember that. No, I'm right. I, I found notes. There we go. Yeah, no. Yeah, so that's a two. I was like, tell me I've got something to go on that, that I can use to reflect on these numbers instead of just trying to go on memory and hoping I'm right. You didn't make a sound. I think you're supposed to make a sound. Why won't you make a sound? Do I have to press it twice because it's two? Okay. Oh boy. This chapter's rough because every theory I have, every hypothesis I have, I should say, will take so long to test just because it takes so long to transition from chapter to chapter of this area and the different times. Uh, what do I do next? I, I mean, I should not, I should not just go straight back to the space age. Going straight back to the space age doesn't make sense because I will just be retracing the entirety of what I did before. Like, it's clearly not, I'm clearly not getting a different result. Alright, I've been at it for a while. Uh, I kind of have an idea. The curiosity is about the rumbling. This locks me in and powers something up. I need to pull this one first. If I pull the one that's outside first, if I pull the one that's in the other place first, then what happens is it just doesn't work. So I have to pull the one in this tower first, then pull the one that's at this base. I came to the conclusion before I was talking about the idea that the time travel tower thing clearly senses your, who, you, who you are and what your current location is and whatnot. What it senses exactly is confusing. First is crabs and me. I'm like, okay, life forms, cool. Then it senses crystals in the second version, which is a little weirder, but I don't know. The crystals must somehow give off some kind of signature that makes it think that it's a creature that's alive or something. Maybe. Or just some kind of interference. The idea there is that this is all a scam. So it's not time traveling specifically. But these are things that are switching out somehow. And if it does that when somebody's looking, then the scam will be exposed. So that sensor is trying to just make sure there's no witnesses when this place pulls its dirty deed. I think that's the idea. So I, I'm thinking that this place physically moves the locations, but I'm not really sure. The main thing I have to go on is that I can click on one of the shells symbols here. Like the one, uh, it's, it's over this way. I can click on one of these shell symbols and then I will end up coming out in this location, but in the other ones. So I can click the shell and then I can save it. And then I can go over there and I can loop the locations. And then when I press the shell, when I warp to the shell, I'll end up in this location, but of the other base. Like, it's a facility that's like this, but different. There's different... There's different art here and everything. <clears throat> if we were time traveling... 
then you would think I was just warping to a future version of the place. But we know this place is a fraud because of the billboard stuff. So, and, and then why would he be repainting it anyway? Uh, so I think that these f locations are physically switching with each other. As far as how that works, I think the, le the lever here might change it. I can't remember, but I think I've been making a mistake. I think I've been pulling the lever, then activating this, and then warping out and back in and so on. And like, I think I need to pull the, I think I need to set that thing first. Like first I touch it with the shell, and then I pull the lever, which will move me. Right? Sound? Yeah. So now it's moving. I think I am physically moving right now. And at that point, I think what I want to do is I want to warp out and then warp back in, but just go directly to the shell. Because if I just warp directly to the shell at that point, if I am moving, I will now end up where the next one is. I think the issue is that if I go through the cathedral, I think that's a, a central location. I think that's the, I think that's where the, that's part of the scam, is the cathedral location. When I warp in through that book, I think the system switches to the next age for me to teleport into so that it can trick me. But if I don't use that system, I just go straight back to the shell, then I should end up where that shell location currently is. Please be something new. Whoa. Hello? Like a horror game in here. Okay. 2.30. Hmm. I'm definitely going to have to go back and collect all the ones that I missed. I'll spare you guys that. That's... You've seen them all already. I've made note of them all. I just didn't necessarily write down every single one. Hey, that says four. Alright, so that idea worked. Because, yeah, the only way that... Uh, the going to the shell icon could take you to a different location like this is either... One, the time travel's real. Which, we've, which it's not, otherwise why would the billboards be fake and everything? Or two, they're physically switching each other's, each other's locations. Like, there must be a- this must be a giant machine that somehow moves these individual areas and into each other's locations. Like on a track. Or even, maybe it spins? They might spin, that'd be the most efficient thing. They could all be on a- each of them could be on one continuous thing that just rotates. Like, uh... Not a kaleidoscope, what am I thinking of? Uh... I mean, basically like, like, film. But I was thinking of that specifically, that one thing that you give to children and whatnot, that like... Or, that I had, I had as a kid at least. It's probably not specifically a children thing, it's just something that was more common back then. Where it'd be like a... It was like a glasses thing, and it had a spinning film disc that was like paper with film on the outside rim and it would spin. And you could go through, like, a slideshow via those glasses. What does this do, then, at this point? I'm honestly not even entirely sure what that does at this point, in this context. Oh, I probably should have found a shell to touch first. Is there one? That sound went on for a while. Whatever this place is, it's powered. Which is impressive, right? Because this place dates back to the Denis. Oh, the door opened.
not the first time we've had a Denis character that goes to great lengths to get people to worship him via great machinations of falsehood. It's like what Gen did in River in Riven. He had a whole he he had a whole Wizard of Oz get up to make himself prote uh, seem cool. Okay. I would assume it's a statue of the guy, Kadish. The guy that's so full of himself. Okay. Can I interact with it though? Are these ladders? Those are ladders, okay. I'm like, there's gotta be some kind of interaction around here. Otherwise, why did I do all this? Okay. Hey, Shell. Ah, anchor point. I don't think the rest of the chapter up until now serves a purpose any further. So I think that's, that sets me up to use this place from here on out. This is probably all I need to be, is here. So I can't go down that ramp, so I have to be here at the chair. I guess I just use the chair? Oh. Sure hope it's not a death trap down there. I guess I've got a relto, so I can escape if it's bad. Hello. Is this look like is this like the weird tram ride from uh Was that Riven or was that 3? That goes forward. Okay. And these can't be pulled right now. Hello. Check that out. I can pull that. I can't pull that. I can pull that again. What do you do? Oh, do you... Do you make me go turn around and go back where I came from? Oh, this probably is how I exit. Oh, is this how the vehicle worked on Riven? That was a while ago. I don't remember. I think that might open the door above me. Like the, the porthole. And this switches my direction to forward and back. Or more than two directions if there are two. And this makes me just go forward. I think this might have been how the vehicle worked in Riven. In that weird underwater segment. Which was of course stranger at the time because every time you did anything it would play a pre-rendered video. Because that's how the first two games went. Although, for me, just the second one. Because, right, 3 and 4 were both 3D for me, weren't they? That was like a Riven-specific experience, because I also played one in a... I played one in a 3D. Which is welcome. So I don't know if branching paths will come up, but so far it seems... I don't think I see any. <clears throat> does the water... Does all the... Does the water outside or whatever that is somehow draw, stop moving whenever I stop moving? Do you work? Yep, okay. So are you... Yeah. That's an escape.
Oh no. I wasn't touching the armrest, I was going through them. Okay. Oh, it feels so good to make progress. I was getting really tired of that age. It's one of those things where just when you want to figure out the solution, it's just, it's rough to have so much time put into just physically walking everywhere. It's kind of a shared issue between Uru and, uh, 557? Uru and, like, Pathologic. Just the transit time can make everything else just a rougher experience. Am I, am I dressed up like them now? Can't get into the light. Oh, how did it get darker? I walked towards the light. Alright, whatever. Hi. Oh no, is this gonna be... That's probably the trees and whatnot from the hallway. Do I need to go back and get an image of them and then come back here? Hmm. I may need to go all the way down to the... back, back to the cathedral and take a picture of them. Ah. Okay, so they didn't give me a new page, so I probably... Yeah, I'll have to redo the ride. Yeah. Alright. Let's do it. So let's warp into the cathedral. And I'll just... Yep, there's the notepad that I had that one number written on because I couldn't access my journal. I'll just use that for now. Yeah, these are the same symbols. Alright, just gotta get drawing. They're not the most complicated shapes, I suppose. I can work with that. There are like the five spokes. Just need enough detail that I can tell them all apart, I suppose. I'm also not necessarily sure, like, do they run... Do the Denis read left to right or right to left? This has been a question I've been dealing with in Fez. And then, and then from here, do I... Let's do a line to separate the two sides of the hallway from each other. Because I don't know if I start back at the beginning, or if I go left to right from that end, or what. Oh! It's, you're the first one, and then the, on the opposite side from each one is a generic one. You're probably first, then second, then third, then fourth. Okay, so I'll write them in this order. Then I'll draw like a squiggly line that goes from left to right over and over again. To indicate the order, because I need, because I need, I'm drawing these as two horizontal sequences of four symbols, but the ones on the bottom are the ones, uh, or at least the starting points on the bottom, and we're alternating. To be able to make this work. They're thankfully pretty straightforward things to try to recreate. I can be really detailed and specific if I want to with my with uh, drawing and whatnot, but when doing notes for gaming sessions. I get really sloppy just trying to get get it done quickly and so on. And so sometimes there's a concern of like, will I make a weird mistake that makes it too ambiguous, which one I mean. But these symbols are thankfully, uh, they're all different from each other enough. 
and also simple enough to draw that I'm looking through them all now in front of me while I'm waiting for the loading and everything. And uh, I don't think that there's a real chance of any of them being confused with each other, thankfully. So now I'm going to warp back to the beginning of the chair, and I guess I'll have to recall the chair. Which hopefully they just in hopefully just instantly appears, and it I don't have to wait for like a minute or, th or two or three. No. Oh, yep, okay. It showed up immediately. I was worried they might care about realism and have it slowly come here over the course of like three minutes. They had me wait 15 minutes for the other thing after all. Moments like these always kind of make me wonder about the limitations of linking books. This is a really expensive monorail system to get from point A to point B. So like, can you not... Because I know linking books, like, they were introduced as an idea that creates an entire age. Like, at the time I didn't question stuff so much because you took a linking book to get to Riven, and a linking book to get to Channelwood, and missed and so on it was always one book for like the entire age and so at the time i didn't question transportation methods like in riven that got so complicated and expensive and time consuming looking because i was like oh that's just how they get around on this planet because the way i got here was just a way to get to the planet and that's it but things got a lot weirder once i got to the denise city in this game where there's like 20 linking books there going in and out of it and there's linking books that lead to like specific parts of Denis. So like there's not like a specific part of that city that everyone warps to. People warp to multiple parts of that place all the time. And also there's a warp, I believe, in the cleft, which is also still on Earth, just like the Denis city is. So that makes me just confused about a lot of things. Let's see. So this is like a, I always thought that you just make a linking book to each planet, period. And by making the linking book, you were kind of creating that planet, sort of, maybe. The idea that a whole bunch of books can all link back to the Denise city makes me way more confused about how they work. And once I know that exists, then I start wondering, like, when I see stuff like this, where there's got a giant, expensive way of just getting from point A to point B, why doesn't they just have a linking book that gets them from there to here, instead of doing all that? Even if they're complicated to write, Linking books don't just, they just don't sound that hard to make. Like, Gen had trouble making them, but that's because he had to manufacture from scratch ink and paper on a planet that didn't really have the materials for either of them. Uh, it didn't seem like he had to make something really exotic necessarily, but I don't know. I don't really fully know the rules, and I think they're kept intentionally vague. Uh, you're the first one. Oh, here we go. You. Then you then you no did I mix them up already how did I mix them up there's you and you I think you're fourth and you're third Um. Oh, I thought they were staying lit up. Whoops. They're not staying lit up, are they? When it, when it faded away, I thought I was in trouble. I don't know how I convinced myself they were staying lit up, and that when it faded away, that meant the bad thing happened. Admittedly, I was just looking down immediately to the next one. We're good? Okay. I literally manufactured a problem that didn't exist. Cool. <laughs> I 
I was, uh, yeah. I thought they were gonna stay lit up for some reason. As I filled them all in one by one. What is the, this? Is that an example of how they work? The three ages that rotate, maybe? Like a visual representation of their current positions? The sleeping area. Um... A lot of numbers in English. English numbers. 625, 250, 410, 325. Um. Are you a timer? It's a lot like columnar joining. Those rock columns all facing the same direction. How the hell are they surviving that waterfall? Yeah, we found it. So this is what the... Oh yeah, there it is. Those are, so those are the... That's Those are what are rotating. To give people the impression that we're time traveling. So three of those are complete and one of them's incomplete probably. The one that's sparking and shitty looking. And you rotate between the three of them. And it skips the fourth one. Because it was probably never finished. Alright, so that's how this age works. It's a really cool visual. And those rock columns are absolutely massive considering how big those each were inside. It all looks like basalt columns, but the shape's a little off, and I don't know how the hell they're surviving that waterfall. That's just a constant pummeling. This is a really trippy setting in general. We're just surrounded by a waterfall in like every direction. Like an entire ocean is crashing down around us. It's massive. Probably staggeringly loud, too. You still going? Yep. Alright, you do you. Is it counting to 625? Is it the timer? Seems like an egg timer, basically. The constant ticking definitely adds to that hypothesis. It's 557. Was there a new page in here? Nope. I guess I'll try this thing out right here. Hmm. So we were- we got up there via the tram age. Now we're down here. Where there's a pool. And there's you guys. You obviously represent- or are, look like these guys. You still in here? That was a while ago, wasn't it? I'm surprised that picture's still in here. Uh, I've used you guys. They're like measurements. Isn't this from like the beginning? Why do I still have this one? Yeah, this one was just saying put the four totems in the place, basically. 518. 
three one ten. I'll have to reconcile all of those two to see if they are from. Let's see, what does this one look like? Two above each other, and then those two, and this one. These ones are kind of in zigzag height. Yeah, it's kind of you can, it's kind of laced shoes orientation. Yeah, not those. That's three of them again. Four, and that's not that's not the laced shoes pattern. But this is a new one. A new one. It has the buttons. It does not have the lights. Nope. Oh, Five thirty-two. It's 532, right? I got that right? Cool. Uh... I'm gonna just call this Wizard of Oz. That's what this whole part is. I don't know if the locations matter at all. It might just be a collective list. Okay. I'm gonna have homework to do, guys. I'm not psyched about it. <laughs> uh, but I'll see you guys in a bit. Because I think we're at a dead end here. And I think in order to continue, I need to do what I've already done. Because I need to collect every one of these, probably. And then I need to do what I thought they were, I think. I don't know. I'm, I'm, gonna, try to re I'm gonna try to construct it. And we'll see what it comes out as. It's, oh, it's gonna take a while. So first I'm gonna go back through all this area to find all the instances of these numbers. So I can find them like I, you know, like I was going to do originally. And then I'm gonna look up where those each of those things is in that diary, in the journals. Uh, because the, they get... Well, the original clue is that this number always only goes up to five. Whereas this one can go way higher. And there's those five, like... What I was calling like the Bible, I was calling these Bible verses, and there's like five Bibles at the Relto. And so I think I need to look these up in that. And this part's pretty unrecordable and unless playable, unless playable. It's just homework. Uh, if I'm correct, I've already solved the puzzle, so there's nothing, there's no epiphany or thought process to show. It's just grunt work. I have to go around and make sure I've documented every single number. And then I have to look up every single quotation in those books, which some of those are over a hundred lines in, so... Uh, I'm gonna have to count through the book for over a hundred lines and then double check it and do it again. So I'll have to do each one two or three times to make sure I have definitely the same verse. And then when I'm done with that, I can finally come back and record the next episode. That's... That's brutal. <laughs> That's... I don't... I, I don't think I like Uru very much, overall. Uh, and a lot of it comes down to stuff like that, where it's just like, I... At some point, the the missed puzzles got really not fun. Like, they were, they were always like... There was always this cool middle ground between... Uh, the puzzles being grounded in some kind of reality that made sense for the world it was in. And they kind of hit their peak with that, with Riven, where that was the basis of the entire thing, is you spent the entire game in basically one age, and dealing with the inner workings of how that society worked and so on. And they did that with, to differing degrees with three and four, one being the training worlds of the children, and one being the prison worlds of those children. And, like, in both cases, you're dealing with how these people survived and what they dealt with and the inner workings of it, and it just... It never got this tedious. And to be fair, Uru itself was significantly less tedious. It's just both of these expansions, I think, in particular, I really don't like. They're so... They, they, they involve massive open areas. Just incredibly massive open areas. 
where the spectacle is the visual of that location and the story context of that location of like oh this is a this is a wizard of oz style fraud man and this one is a and this one is a huge denise city to run around in but the puzzles in them are either non-existent to weirdly thoughtless like the gps geocache metal detector one we did in the denise city that just kind of felt like a bummer to this one uh which is like it's a puzzle like the part where i have to figure out how to trick the globe system and escape it and you have to kind of envision what it what it's like from the inside like you're trapped inside an illusion and you have to figure out how it works and then escape it that's a decent puzzle but it's one puzzle with one solution that it, it kind of isn't even that many steps when you take when you get down to it it's just a massive it's one of those things where it takes a a little while to come up with the idea but then you have to execute on the idea and executing on the idea involves going into an age, running in a circle, going out of the age, going into an age, running in a circle, going out of the age, and like, every time you have an idea, it takes a huge amount of time to execute on said idea, as you do a lot of tedious grunt work. And just to like, punctuate that thought, we have this, where, now I've just gotta look up a bunch of Bible verses, in an un, like, and they could have been nice to me with this. They could have been really nice and numbered the lines and they would have made a, a better experience for every player, but they didn't number the lines, so I get to just count them all. So on top of having to document every single one of these things, which which I should have been doing anyway, uh, I have to just tediously count my way through every line of a book? Why, why is that fun? And I have to do it for what, like 10 quotes, 20 quotes? There was a lot of these. I, I don't... I don't really see why that's a fun thing to make players do. And if you think that's fun, then go for it, I guess. But I'm just saying that, like, I don't... Uru, Uru and especially the two expansions for Uru really crossed a line for me where it just stopped being fun. Because, like, for me, when I do a puzzle, and this is why I like The Witness so much, uh... Once I come up with a solution, I just want to move on. Like, okay, I got the solution. So like in The Witness, you have a puzzle panel and you just like, okay, let's do this. Here's what I want to do. Click. Okay, yeah, that worked. Moving on to the next panel and portal and so on. Like a lot of the, my favorite puzzle games are like, okay, I come up with a solution. And then the, the time span between coming up with your solution and implementing said solution is basically seconds. Whereas in... Uh, the Path of Denis and, uh, or, sorry, to Denis and Path of the Shell, it's like, the, the puzzles didn't get harder or more complicated. There's just a, you just have to do, run a marathon for every step of it. And it's actually kind of a bummer, because when you come down to it, like, these entire expansions have, like, one to three puzzles each when you get down to it. No, that's not true. As is more true for Denis had like maybe two or three puzzles in it. Uh, whereas in a in this chapter in this expansion, there's like one good age and one bad age, kind of, or at least one frustratingly tedious age, because the other age was the one where you t where you're running that facility, and that one was nice. That had a nice pace to it. And you're working your way through it. Uh, that all the time lost in that chapter, aside from the weird wait you have to do at the end, uh, was just me not understanding what to do next, or me thinking maybe I can't continue, and leaving and coming back later. Like, th those are larger structural questions about the game, like the fact that they just give you the DLC immediately. Uh, but that chapter, I, my, my time, my implementation time of, I have an idea to, let's do the thing, while lo certainly longer than The Witness, because it's not a puzzle panel, it was still just me running from like this room to that room in an area. Like the most tedious part was running down that one tube that went through the water chamber. And even that was like 30 seconds. But like swimming across that entire ocean multiple times or having to cycle through all three ages in a row as I test ideas of what to do next. And even having those weird pointless ladders just to add to the list, being like, maybe it's up at the ladder. Nope, these are just ladders that exist to now 
the counting my way through a book until I have the quotes I need. Uh, none of those are, th are things that add to the experience for me. It, I, I don't... I think there's people that get off on like, oh, this is so immersive. And for me, I'm just like, oh, this is work. Because <laughs> once, once you... Uh, once the implementation time from puzzle like puzzle solution being envisioned to puzzle puzzle solution being executed starts to feel like five minutes, ten minutes, thirty minutes, that's when I don't like that puzzle game anymore. So that's my stance. I just thought I'd articulate that, I guess. I'll see you guys next time when I've done all that. <laughs>